Okay, welcome to another video. So in this video, we are going to be showing you how you can use um, Zoom, which I'm just going to bring in here. So as you can see, uh, we're using Zoom to stream using OBS. And one of the things that um, is problematic is the ability to capture the audio from Zoom and pipe that into um, into OBS. So we're going to be talking about that today and how you can go about doing that. Um, what I'm going to do is I'm going to shut off Zoom now uh, and then walk you through how that all works. So let's get this meeting ended. Okay, there we go. So that ends the meeting. Right, so um, what we're going to do is we're going to use a piece of software and this piece of software is called VB Audio. So I'm predominantly talking about uh, Windows and how you can do it on Windows. So what you need to do is to output from Zoom into a um, into your input on your computer. So it does that by creating effectively a virtual cable from the output, so audio out, um, and we're going to then transfer that audio out from Zoom in through the virtual cable into the audio in facility and then set that up. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to show you how to do that. So the first thing you want to do is to navigate this to this website called VB Audio Software and the URL I will stick in the description below but for those that uh, want it in the video it is www.vb-audio.com forward slash cable Okay, so without further ado, let's minimize that software. So in um, in this system, you want to click on the download button, and that is going to download the VB Cable driver pack. And what you want to do is once that's downloaded, you want to open up the zip file and extract that to a folder of your choice. So what we've got here is the VB cable um, unzipped and in here you will notice the VB cable setup which is 32 bit or the VB cable setup 64 bit so in my instance I ran this but what you want to make sure that you do is to do a right click on here and you want to run that as administrator that will then install the drivers into your system now once you've done that um, you will see um, the ability to set things up however what you do want to do is to make sure that you reboot your PC so download the software run it as administrator the installation file that will then install the drivers and then you want to reboot so once it's rebooted um, you want to launch your uh, zoom application so I'm going to launch this and in here you want to go to settings and under audio what you want to do is for the speaker you want to set this as your new cable input VB audio virtual cable um, so what you're telling the system to do there is to output it to your virtual um, input device on your system now on the virtual input device on the system we set that in uh, OBS so this is the most important bit you do this in your zoom settings so that you capture all of the audio that comes out from zoom and that will then um, get input into uh, OBS so let's have a look at the OBS settings I'm going to launch OBS oh it's already running so we'll just maximize that okay so what we've got here is um, the zoom input now the way that we capture the uh, input is via um, a window so in our instances what we've done is we've called it uh, it's automatically picked up when zoom is running and we're going to capture that now on Windows 10 devices it will set be set to automatic you'll have blank output basically so what you want to do is change the capture method to be Windows graphics capture Windows 10 1903 and up once you do that your video will appear in here and um, you will also be pumping the audio from your zoom into the audio interface 
The next thing that you want to do is to add uh, an audio input capture device, um, which we do in OBS, and we want to tell it to use the cable output VB audio virtual cable device. So what we're telling it to do there is to capture the input that is being output from Zoom into the input audio on um, on the uh, on the OBS Studio. So I'm just going to remove that one. So once uh, once that's done, um, you want to go into your properties, make sure that it's set correctly, leave the use the device timestamp switched off. Now um, in your this will then show up in the audio mixer. So what you want to do in your audio mixer is you want to go into your advanced audio properties and you want to make sure that it's set to monitor off because what you don't want is to um, you don't want to get loads of feedback so that's a way to do that but you want to monitor the levels. Then you would then go into your um, normal mechanism for streaming to Facebook or YouTube by starting the stream here or start the recording and uh, I've already shown you what it looks like in Zoom you can see the audio levels working so um, that's all there is to it if you've got any questions just leave me a message in the comments section below again I will put the link to where you can download the software from um, and that's all there is to it. If you found the use video useful, give it a thumbs up. If you didn't, give it a thumbs up. And I just want to say thanks for watching.